Hi, I'm Amanda Castile, and I have with me Erica Flora. We're from Beyond 20, and today we're going to talk to you about the ITIL 4 service value chain. So the ITIL 4 service value chain is an operating model that consists of all of the activities that your organization performs in order to deliver value to your customers. So if you look at the picture on the very right side, the end of the picture, we have value. That's the goal here. That's what we're trying to get to. So how do we deliver value to our customers? Well, we deliver our products and services. So our products and services deliver value. The service value chain shows you all of the activities that your organization has to perform in order to create and deliver your products and services. It's basically all the stuff that you do. Yeah, and if we look at the top of the diagram in that like blue bar, we see the word plan. Um, so I just wanna give an example of one of the activities that you might do. So planning might happen, let's say if you're running a more traditional project, it might happen um, at the beginning of a project or phase like a kickoff, um, or it could happen every few weeks if you're running more of an agile or, or specifically a scrum project where you do sprint planning with your entire team every couple of weeks. And so the team comes together, estimates the work, because the folks that are actually doing the work are the ones that have to agree, um, have a conversation, and commit to what can be reasonably done in that time frame. These six activities can be done in any combination, in any order, they're not linear, and they're not a life cycle. Yeah, and really what we're trying to do here is we're trying to look at what we do as an organization, all the activities that we perform. And we're trying to make sure that the things that we're doing are providing value to our customer. So if there's something that we're doing that's not providing value, then that's waste and we can get rid of it. And we're gonna talk more about that topic in a later video around value streams. So as Erica said, these activities can be performed in any order and in any combination. And we call that combination a value stream. Um, another use of the service value chain is to constantly evaluate those activities and make sure that we can always change them to improve the value to our customer. Absolutely. And another interesting application of the service value chain is it can help uh, managers, leaders evaluate skill sets of their teams. So if we look at the orange box on, box on the left, engage, if we have folks, let's say, that are working at the service desk or in, are in a relationship management kind of role that are very customer facing, those are the kinds of roles in the, or the kinds of skill sets rather that we want to develop in those teams versus if you look at the big orange box in the middle um, those might be our tier two tier three our developers um, that's an entirely different skill set that you want to develop in those teams so that they design develop deliver great products and services for customers thank you